Hi, this is Yosopin Bharti and we are here at SAP Safari event in Orlando. And today we have with us Ritu Bhargav, President and Chief Product Officer, SAP Industries and Customer Experience. Uh, Ritu, it's great to have you on the show. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, before we get start this discussion, I would love to hear, you know, if you folks, you know, since we are at the event, any announcement that were like, you know, key or highlight for you? Oh my God. So there are three announcements that we made today. The first one I'm very excited about, which is CX is now entering the market of industry tailored applications. So think of these as custom built applications for the industry that you operate in. So if you're in retail or consumer product or automotive or utilities and many, many more like health sciences, we have applications that will cater to your unique needs. So that's the first one. The second one is our entry into um, not just generative AI, but we have been working on a proprietary AI model technology, which we are calling as the SAP Digital Assistant. And so think of it as a contextual and a proactive assistant that sits on top of any application, any context that you use in SAP. So if you are in a browser, if you're in an email, if you're in the SAP system, this application brings the contextual and the operational data together to power all of those experiences. So you're not just looking at a supplier order, you're not just looking at uh, data from one of the systems, but you're looking at all of the systems. So that is the SAP Digital Assistant that we are announcing today. And the third one is SAP ReCommerce. Think of this as our answer to sustainability in the commerce angle. So reuse, reduce, recycle. This is where if you have returns managed, uh, returns of goods, what do you do with those returns of goods? You bring it back, but you also want to surface it back to your suppliers and it helps with the sustainability of a lot of consumer products, for example. Excellent. And there's something to talk about all of these announcements you spoke about. But I want to go back to the customer experience. <clears throat> talk a bit about because these days we are talking about customer experience a lot, especially during the COVID era when everybody moves to the cloud. Digital experience was becoming very, very important. Uh, I don't know how important it was earlier, but a lot of focus we are paying now. So talk about how you have seen the evolution of customer experience and it's important, it doesn't matter which industry one is operating in. We all have been buying goods, we all have been going online, and and then sometimes we not only go online, we go and um, we look at, okay, how is this going to be available in store? And you have done this too, you have gone and looked online, you bought it in store, or you have looked it in the store, you bought it online. Normal stuff happens. And then you place the order, and you get a notification that this is out of stock. How many times has that happened to you? It does happen you know, once in a while. Once right. you place the order, add to the cart, and suddenly it's not in the stock anymore. Right? Or even you place the order, and then you get a canceled order because, hey, you know what? This is not in, uh, not, not in our inventory. And this is where SAP's Intelligent CX is going to change it. It's a differentiator because SAP has uniquely the data, which is the inventory data, the supply chain data, the operational processes data, which means that if I am creating an order to buy a t-shirt, SAP knows how much inventory do I have, what is the supply chain looking like, what is the lead time for that delivery, and we can keep that promise every time that a customer engages with the product. And so that is what is changing for me. The changing is that it's, the change is that it's not just about the, the, front, um, the front office part of uh, how an experience is surfaced, it's not just about the order process or the service process, it's how intelligence can power that, uh, that, that process, how intelligence can power that experience. And so I think the connectivity of the systems, the operability of the systems, the intelligence of the systems is a differentiator. And when we look at customer experience, it's not just you know, one medium, you know, we, a lot of voice assistant based, you know, a lot of things people just interact through voice. If you're in a smart car, you know, you're just talking. So how you have seen the interface also changing because that interface may not be just a web page as somebody is scrolling. Right, right, absolutely. Uh, the convenience of where you are, you can, you can be operating through a chatbot, you can be operating through a text message, you can be surfing, you can be actually calling. Any of that experience has to be uh, seamless. You, you, you do not care as to how you interface with a brand. What you care about is what, is kind, what kind of custom experience do you get back. And so increasingly, that connectivity happens two ways. Number one, with the data. So the data that powers through the systems helps in knowing who you are. The second is it helps in enabling the experience that you will get 
agnostic of the channel that you are operating it. So it's an omni-channel experience that is a seamless experience. And it's kind of name of the game. It's it's not even new anymore. Yeah. I think every brand should be able to operate in the same way. You should be able to chat, take it on, go in store, and con continue from there. Unfortunately, these experiences are still siloed and not connected. Yeah, uh, nobody wants to talk to a chatbot or a phone, you know, auto chat, in, or, or whatever. But Genity AI, you talk about that. That is also changing the game. It almost looks like you're talking to a real person. And when I was talking to you know folks here at SAP, I see a common thing which is AI, Genity AI. So talk a bit about the role that you see of these technologies are going to play in the customer experience and also. Are we at the very early stage of this, or from SAP's perspective, we have reached a market where you know, customers can actually start using that experience? Yeah, so there are two parts to this. The first is the personalization. Mm -hmm. So the personalization in context, so for example, I want this jacket, but you have unique needs, you may want a black jacket. And so how does the system know that I want a black jacket? And so, of course, it learns, it has learned, and that's not new. Uh, the models, the AI models and the large language models are not new. We have been, the models have been learning what the surface in context, the personalization happens. What generative AI has done is it has leapfrogged some of that business application uh, to many, many years forward. And so we are using AI, we are using intelligence, but now it is becoming very useful to you very, very quickly in a way that is very humanly uh, understood, very easy to consume, in a way that is very commonly um, uh, surfaced for any use case. As you earlier talking about, you know, industry tailor, and I think you touched upon that as well. Can you talk a bit about, you know, once again, in the post-pandemic era, how you have seen the industries also kind of changing, evolving to serve their customers better, which also kind of led to this industry tailor, you know, customer experience? It boils down to the same thing, the personalization and uniquely catered to my needs. Mm -hmm. So you may be operating in a retail industry, but you may be a grocery retailer or you may be a high fashion retailer. And so the needs of a high fashion retailer to a grocery retailer also changes. Right? And then similarly, if you are an automotive dealer uh, versus you're an automotive uh, manufacturer, that experience is also different. And so increasingly the personalization that people want for their unique needs is important. And then the, the, the companies want to cater to those needs, but they also have the problem of maintaining the whole of back office operations, the manufacturing, the procurement, the supply chain, the finance, uh, the, the human capital management. So how does all of that come together? And that's where the, the industry expertise, the industry know-how, and SAP has 50 years of industry know-how. I can tell you no one in the entire world understands industries like how SAP does. And so think about bringing and making your strengths your superpowers. And SAP's superpower is already industry expertise. Now just imagine bringing that in a customer experience makes it so powerful. Are there certain industries which are more receptive to these, you know, tailored or, you know, like generating AI or you see, hey, it's across the spectrum or you feel, hey, these industries, we need to kind of, you know, tell them more so they can embrace these practices, there is still a bit. I think every industry is transforming. And every transformation is a digital transformation. And every application is increasing, increasingly going to be an AI app. So it is agnostic of industries, health sciences, education tech, life sciences, um, mills and mining, chemicals, oil and gas, um, and of course retail manufacturing, all of the industries I talked about. Every industry is trying to disrupt. Every industry is trying to be intelligent. Every industry wants to be intelligent and meet the customers where they are. When we are talking about, you know, certain things which are not really futuristic, which have become realistic once again, are there certain technology or emerging technologies, emerging trends that you are seeing are going to further improve the customer experience? Yeah, I think the connectivity is, is super important because the fragmented experiences and fragmented silos of data is making it very hard. Everyone is going crazy about data, right? But data alone is nothing. What can data do for you? What can it make? Uh, what can it make your life more efficient for? How can it surface productivity in, in in every touch point? That is the name of the game. So it's technology for the sake of technology. Is I think is gone. 
technology that, and that's why I think generative AI has, has hit home so quickly because it suddenly made it so useful. And so the use of data silos to bring them together, the use of that to power intelligence, power automation, so that from a salesperson to a service person, leave, it, leave the nuanced conversations or the interactions to the, to, to, to the human being, everything else needs to be done by the system. One more thing, you know, in addition to generative AI, I'm hearing here is also sustainability. But sustainability can mean different things for different. It could be planetary sustainability, it could be sustainability of the economy, depending on how you look at. So, first of all, uh, uh, from your perspective, how you look at it, and from once again, you know, customer experience perspective, uh, what you folks are doing for sustainability? Sustainability. So SAP is in a very unique position to be able to really talk about sustainability, right from tracking and tracing to really doing something about it. If other companies talk about it, they really don't have all of that data, all of that business processes, all of that visibility into like the end-to-end -end experience. And so for SAP to think about sustainability as a back office, as a track and trace to the experience we can surface, to the way that you know, goods can, as I talked about earlier, as goods can uh, go back into the system. Because do you know how much of uh, revenue gets stuck in returns management? You buy 10 items and you return eight of them. The, ma the supplier can do nothing about those goods. And that's a big revenue loss for millions and millions of suppliers around the world. And SAP has that, has that visibility. So this is just one example where we can really bring uh, and make a difference into every touch point, be it like return goods, but also the reuse, reduce, recycle kind of aspects of, uh, of commerce. And that's where I think when you talk about e-commerce. E-commerce, yes. absolutely, is a, is a big innovation, but SAP is in a very unique position because we have, uh, you know, we have the green ledger, we have, we, we can talk about it from the back office, every aspect of the business in a sustainable way. Excellent, Ritu, thank you so much for sitting down with me and share, you know, of course, the whole uh, customer experience story, and I would love to share it with you again. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.